Well, for this week's Weed of a Week, I've got a real beauty for you. It's uh, full of history. It's actually quite a poisonous plant and it grows very gently, very quietly during the summer. And you wouldn't even know it's there till about now you see these clouds of poof of these little white flowers. And this is a chap. It's a snake root as opposed to this snake root, which flowers at the same time. This is a semisifuga, um, often called black snake root. But this is the weed you're going to see out in the wild. It's a wild flower. Um, what makes it so deadly is it that it actually has a toxin in its leaves and its flowers. And in the old days, it will grow in pastures where there'll be cattle or cows and the cows would eat it and it can actually kill a cow, believe it or not. Um, but the more worrying aspect for us humans is that if it doesn't kill the cow, it builds up in the cow's milk. And if you drink the milk, you can do yourself an awful lot of damage. Apparently that's what um, President uh, Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln's mother died of milk sickness or milk uh, illness, but milk sickness, I think it was called. So this is the plant responsible for it. Farmers will get rid of it in pastures. Uh, there is though a nicer side. There is actually a form of this that I grow at home. It's called chocolate because the leaves early in the summer are a deep chocolate color. And now it's flowering at home and uh, it, it can be quite nice as long as you realize you're not going to feed your goats or cows with it. So there we go. This is the snake root and uh, plant and enjoy with care, shall we say.